Russian state-owned defense conglomerate Rostec has announced that it is set to place the PBK-500U Drell 500kg precision-guided cluster bomb into serial production in 2024, and that the weapons system has already undergone all types of tests specified by the customer, namely the defense ministry. The bombs were designed to serve as the primary gravity weapon deployed by Su-57 fifth-generation fighters, which saw production surge to 12 fighters per year in 2023 which more than doubled the fleet size to 22 aircraft. The Drell is also expected to serve as a primary armament of the country's fast-growing fleet of Su-34 strike fighters, which have been acquired at a greater rate than any other fighter class since the Soviet era and began entering service as the enhanced Su-34M variant from July 2022. Both fighters benefit from limited applications of stealth technologies, have over double the range of any Western fighter class, and can also carry very long-range strategic cruise missiles usually only deployed by heavy bombers. The two are the only Russian fighter classes currently in production which are expected to see orders continue to be made into the 2030s. The Drell bomb's guidance systems provide fire and forget capabilities meaning they do not require illumination of its targets or wire guidance by an aircraft. The bombs use inertial and GLONASS satellite guidance to maximize precision and have an identification friend or foe system and electronic warfare countermeasures. Guidance systems are reportedly well optimized for engaging fast-moving targets. Each bomb contains 15 self-guided anti-tank element charges which weigh around 15 kilograms each, with these high-payload sub-munitions combined with the bomb's precision allowing a very small number of drills to cause tremendous damage that would require multiple bombing runs if using older bombs. A single drill cluster of the bomb's sub-munitions are estimated to be sufficient to destroy an entire missile battery or a tank column. With the Russian Air Force set to form its first full-strength Su-57 fighter regiment in early 2024, and field one and a half regiments worth of the aircraft by the end of the year, it remains uncertain what quantities Drell bombs will be in service by that time, if at all, and whether they will first be deployed by Su-57 units or by Su-34s. The timing of the Drell bombs announced imminent entry into serial production comes as Western and Ukrainian forces have increasingly highlighted with great concern the potency of Russian Air Force bombing missions using a range of glide bombs against Ukrainian Army frontline positions, which personnel have described as opening the gates of hell due to their potency. The Drell has similar glide properties allowing it to be dropped close to 50 kilometers away from its targets, and according to some reports much further, although its precision guidance capabilities are significantly superior to those of existing bombs. While reports from Ukrainian personnel on the front lines indicate that existing Russian glide bombs are already considered effectively impossible to shoot down, the Drell's design has provided a significant further boost to its survivability with a much reduced radar cross-section. It remains uncertain how many of the bombs Su-57s will be able to carry in its internal weapons bays or whether their reduced radar cross-sections could allow the fighters to carry them externally without significantly undermining their own stealth capabilities.
Discussions around the Drell Plus Su-57 emerged for the first time back in 2018. This was when Alexander Kochkin, the Deputy General Director of Tamash, declared that this next-level fighter would serve as the bomb carrier. The Suhoi Su-57 is ingeniously designed to include both internal and external hardpoints, equipped for carrying diverse armaments. The primary spot for the Su-57 to withhold armaments is its internal weapon bays. This mindful design plays a significant role in maintaining the aircraft's stealth characteristics. Nestled within the aircraft's fuselage, these bays can house a plethora of weapons ranging from air to air, air to surface, and anti-ship missiles, to precision-guided bombs. We must not overlook the fact that the Su-57 comes with external hardpoints positioned beneath its wings. These come into play when stealth isn't the need of the hour, or when the aircraft needs to accommodate additional or more substantial weapons that can't be fitted in the internal bays. Much like the internal bays, these external hardpoints are capable of holding a similar variety of weapons, including bombs. This novel aerial glide bomb, touted by the Russian media as stealthy, was officially unveiled by the state defense enterprise, Rostec. Further validation came via quoted statements from a Rostec representative on Russia's news agency TASS. Rostec has affirmed that all ministry-designated tests have been successfully conducted, establishing the DREL's capabilities in line with their anticipations. However, actual details surrounding the use of Drell in Ukraine remain strictly classified, masking the specifics of its operation. Additionally, the timeline and scale of Drell's mass production, including the projected completion of the first batch, remain undisclosed. While specific details remain limited, conjectures from both Eastern and Western military experts abound. As per an article in the National Interest, me, the invention will likely be a cluster glider bomb stealth. It is anticipated to be controlled by the GLONASS Global Navigation Satellite System, weighing over 500 kilograms with a reach spanning 30 to 50 kilometers. The DREL unit will likely comprise 15 homing warheads, strategically equipped with both a friend or foe detection system and electronic countermeasures for advanced operation.